Members of House of Representatives have alerted the country over a rising trend of Nigerians being illegally held in detention in foreign countries. The House asked the federal government to facilitate the release of those who are illegally detained abroad. This was as a result of the motion raised during plenary by Dennis Idahosa representing Ovia Federal Constituency on Thursday over the need to confirm the number of Nigerians detained in foreign prisons. The lower chamber of the National Assembly further admonished the federal government to intervene and secure the release of Nigerians being held illegally in prisons abroad and also resolved the mandating, you know, it resolved to mandating pardon the House committees on foreign affairs, justice, and interparliamentary relations to ensure compliance with the resolution reach. Before the resolution, they noted that Nigerians were in almost all countries of the world, making exploits in sports, technology, businesses, education, and politics, and have been ranked as one of the highest educated immigrants in foreign countries. They added that due to the large population of the Nigerian diaspora community, the Nigerians in diaspora commission NITCOM was established to provide for the engagement and participation of such persons in the development of the country. While he was moving the motion, Idahosa drew the attention of his colleagues to the international convention and treaties which prescribed, prescribed pardon, that anyone charged with a criminal offense was entitled to a fair hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial tribunal established by law. Cognizance that remittance of Nigerians living abroad have been of significant impact in the development and economic growth of the country. Concerned about reports that many Nigerians are languishing in foreign prisons, some of whom are being illegally detained while some are exposed to labor exploitation, poor living condition, discrimination, sex exploitation, and other forms of dehumanizing treatment. Worried that from a 2019 survey report by the Legal Defense and Assistance Project, LIDPAD, about 16,500 Nigerians who are in prisons outside the country were convicted without legal representation and not knowing why they are in jail, the lawmaker said. He added that he believed the federal government needed to employ a diplomatic means to assist Nigerians wrongly convicted and being detained in various prisons abroad. What is your thought about this? We, what we have heard is obvious that some of Nigerian citizens are being in detention, they are illegally detained in prisons abroad. And according to what we thought, members of the representative, you know, of the House of Representatives, pardon, have alerted the country over a rising trend of Nigerians being illegally held in detention in foreign countries. The House asked the federal government to facilitate the release of those who are illegally detained abroad. What is your thought about this? So we have some of our Nigerian citizens that are being illegally detained abroad. What is your thought about this? According to what we've heard, some of them were even, you know, convicted without legal representation and not knowing why they are in jail. That is what the lawmaker have said. What is your thought about this? Some of those people are languishing in foreign prison, some of whom are even being legally detained, while some are exposed to labor exploitation, poor living conditions, discrimination, sex exploitation, and other form of the humanizing treatments. What is your thought about this? We would like you to share on point of view with us via the comment section on the Spanish development. We would like to share on point of view with us on this. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the pre-institution of things in Nigeria. 
Prince Adeola reacted to this and said, they have no moral justification to request for such when they are guilty of illegally detaining thousands of their innocent citizens whom they perceive as enemies. A very obvious example is that of Chief Sondia Demo Igboho Osha and Inamdikano's recent illegal huddling. They should just bury their faces in shame. That is what Prince Adeola has said. What is your thought about this? We have heard from Prince Adeola saying that Nigeria have no moral justification to request for surge when they also are guilty of illegally detaining their own citizens. Thousands of their own innocent citizens whom they perceive are enemies are being detained. The obvious example of which has been presented by Prince Adeola is the case of the Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo, who is popularly referred to as Igboho, Sunday Igboho, and Inamdikano, who is the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. These people have been legally detained, according to what we've heard. They have been legally, you know, illegally detained, and since their detention, they have been facing trial, different trials, yet they have not been granted amnesty whereas the government is granting amnesty to people who have killed people who have committed series of attacks in nigeria Boko Haram members have been granted amnesty whereas you know whereas the right activists in this country are not being granted amnesty as we have been always saying that charity begins at home what you don't do you cannot expect others to do it for you that is what prince adeola has said that you don't have moral justification to request for such because you also illegally detain your own innocent citizens somewhere a maker of car force reacted and said what of nigerians illegally detained by the nigerian government in nigeria what is your thought about this imagine nigerian government illegally detaining nigerians in nigeria victor kings also said what about illegally detained in Nigeria? Charity begins at home. Insufferable hypocrites always quick to see the mole in another man's eyes while, you know, a log is blinding them. What is your thought about this institution? We have had a lot of reactions from people. Different people have reacted and they have been sharing their own point of view with us on this. What about the ones detained in Nigeria? You know, we have innocent people being detained in Nigeria and innocent people have been detained abroad. It is what Nigeria have been doing. They know Nigeria doesn't respect fundamental human rights and that is why they are also helping Nigeria to violate such rights abroad. That is why we have cases like this. Let's assume, you know, all these things, you know, happens in the United States of America, whereas they are... You know, citizen is being arrested in Nigeria. Nigeria will not forget the day they arrest such citizen because the United States will not take it lightly because they don't play with the safety of their citizen. Nigeria is said to be a failed state. We would like you to drop your thoughts on this pending situation. Don't forget that federal legislators asked the Buhari government to secure release of Nigerians illegally detained abroad. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.